Okay, here's all the cards. Six deck blackjack. Dealer stands on all 17s. No surrender. Blackjack pays three to two. Shoe number four on the five way comparison of Martingale, Paroli, 1326, Fibonacci, and flat betting. If you are new, let me just quickly explain. I show you all the cards so you can see they're all, that they are all there. I show you the entire shuffle procedure so that you can verify that I have not fixed the deck. Not trying to promote any system, just running a test uh, across, well, what I'm gonna do a seven shoe series here like I've done on, the, on, on these uh, to see if a betting system can beat the house edge. They say that, it, that betting systems cannot, but you won't know until you put it to the test. So that's what we're working on. They say that over in computer simulations over millions of hands, that uh, the house edge always comes back and you get back the expected, the expected results. So we're, we're playing heads up against the dealer. All five betting systems are applied to the same hand. They don't get their own cards. Because if you do that, you can have cases where, you know, first base gets really good cards, second base gets medium cards, third base gets really bad cards, for example. So you'll have deviation. This way, you get a little bit of level setting. Everybody's playing on the same same cards. Um, all right, let me just keep shuffling. Automatic card shuffler. I think it saves me a lot of time. Uh, if you've been watching, the, if you watch the, the Fibonacci series as well as the previous uh, shoes that I've done in this five-way test, you'll know that I've... Well, one, these videos get a little longer because it simply takes me longer to pay everybody out. But you'll also know that uh, Fibonacci has been giving me a pretty hard time uh, figuring out what to do when you have multiple losses due to splits uh, and double downs. Blackjacks aren't so complicated. Well, you don't lose a blackjack, that's why. Um, wi winning multiple uh, wagers due to splits, double downs, or or even the three to two payout from blackjack, is not uh, so difficult for Fibonacci because uh, you just treat that as a as a bonus pay. You uh, that's pretty easy, pretty easy to figure out for the blackjack part of it, but it took me a while to, to figure out how to do that on the, on the multiple wins due to splits and double downs. I think I have it that, I have that part, I think, figured out pretty well as far as what to do, and you just get a bonus payment. You, you don't move back additional positions. Uh, in, in the Fibonacci sequence for those situations. But what's been complicated is having multiple uh, wager losses. And I thought I had it, it's a, a method figured out. And then I kept running into, while I was doing these, running into additional uh, new new situations where what I thought was the fix wasn't working uh, so after yesterday I 
I said I would sit down and see what I could do to figure it out and what the proper thing to do would be. Because you don't really see much published uh, about what to do for those for those cases. You know, winning on blackjack, yeah, that that was easy. So, anyways, I think I have it figured out. I'm gonna make. I, sh I was gonna. I should have done it before, but um, I did this video. But I already had the cards fanned out. I didn't feel like taking them away. So I will make that video after this video and, and put that up. My discovery and my findings. If and when we get those situations during this shoe, I will uh, explain it and talk about it a little bit. I'll try to keep it short so that I don't take up too much time during the shoe and save the, the real uh, meat of the discussion for um, the separate video on that. Uh, but yeah, I think I think I got it figured out now. Um, so yesterday, when I ran into some confusing things, I continued doing it the way I had been doing it before to try to maintain consistency. Because I think more than anything else, being consistent is is important, especially for when you're trying to get you know pseudo scientific results. Um, okay. But now that I have something new figured out, these are our cut cards, simulating a player cutting the deck. Looking for about 75, maybe 80% penetration. We've so far had no fewer than 45 hands out of a six deck shoe playing heads up against a dealer. So we will expect that to continue, I suppose. Um, just really quick, quickly let me finish up what I was saying about Fibonacci. If those situations arise, um, I will apply my new findings. Um, I, I will, you know, switch gears, uh, quote, midstream here. Because I think this way is better. It's also, uh, should be a lot less confusing. Um, okay, so, uh, going to play five different um, betting systems. Martingale, Paroli, Flat Betting, 1326, and Fibonacci. I am aware that Martingale and Fibonacci uh, get cut off somewhere somewhere around here. Um, the Martingale and Fibonacci are in red uh, because they are negative progressive systems. Paroli and 1326 are in green because they are positive progressive systems. Flat Betting, of course, is just that flat betting. Um, each system starts with 50 units, like so, okay? Two tens, four fives, and ten whites. I thought I had these set up ready to go, and I do have them set up and ready to go, but I didn't have stack them as well. Okay, um, I will show you all of them just very quickly, so you can see they are all here try to show you this is as legitimate as possible okay there 50 on each all right um uh let's see so these are bet units not dollars okay if you're so one unit is one base bet or or you know or, or if you're playing at a five dollar table one unit would be five dollars Okay, if you're playing at a $25 table, one unit is $25. But we're going to do things in units. This is a uh, 1 to 100 table. So it's 1 unit to 100 units. That's the, that would be like playing at a $5 table with a $500 uh, max. There's a burn card. Um, playing by perfect basic strategy. You find that on places like thewizardofodds.com. Uh, each player starts with a base unit. Um, again, only only one hand is coming out that they all share. Uh, what else am I supposed to tell you? 
I don't know, I'll think of it. Oh, I have the Fibonacci sequence written down over here. A 9 to a 9 takes a card. 19 stands. 19, push. Push repeats uh, in all of these systems, repeats the, the wager. Uh, and if you're in a, in a position in uh, one of these systems, it's that you repeat the position as well. It's as if, as if nothing happened. The only time would be different is if you had a double down and you pushed, uh, you take back the double down um, instead of letting it rot, let it, instead of pressing it, say for paroling. Uh, an 11 to a 10 is a double down. Single card, 20. Oh, I forgot to ace check. But it works out, again, a push. So, well, just like I said, since everyone takes back that double down, and then you continue uh, wherever you work, same position, same wager. Everybody's still in the first spot in their progression, single unit wagers. Six to an eight takes a card. Uh, soft 17 to an eight uh, hits again. 20. 18, okay. Okay, being negative progressive systems, Fibonacci and Martingale will take their uh, wins back. 1326 needs to add one. Being positive progressive, it changes its wager uh, when it wins, so it's moving up to three. Flat betting, of course, stays flat. Paroli will press to two. Martingale, like I said, takes one off, and here we go. And Blackjack. Hayes. Three to two, time and a half. That's a quarter, but it represents a half of a unit. Those of you who've been watching regularly are used to that. One and a half there. Oh, I need some change. What's to give me change? How about you? Okay. Oops. That goes to you. <laughs> uh, one and a half. That's a parole. is a wager of two, so it's two plus one. Martingale one and a half okay 15. okay so fibonacci takes off this stuff the one three two six um after after the three moves just to a wager of two so he gets to take five and a half units off leaving two flat betting if you haven't caught on by now that is just always that uh paroli um, looking for uh, three consecutive wins. You can play parole however you want. Four consecutive wins, five consecutive wins. Three is most common. Uh, your your first wager was one. You won that. You pressed it. Then you just you won this one. You're going to press again. You're going to press the entire thing. So when you have double downs, splits, mul you know, multiple wins, and blackjack, that's what we've been doing. We, we've pressed the entire thing looking for three consecutive wins. You don't um, take the additional... Uh, payment from blackjack or double downs and keep those so uh, most likely wouldn't be able to split and double down etc uh, enough to get to uh, to reaching the table limit of a hundred but it's possible uh, let me keep going I, I suppose it would I, I don't want to say it's not possible because then it will happen uh, Fibonacci and Martingale certainly could hit the table max um, 20 stands but most likely they would bust out first. 20, push. Okay, so um, 1, 3, 2, 6 will stay at 2. Paroli will stay at whatever it is, 5. 5. Um, and that has been happening to Fibonacci and Martingale. They have been busting out, to give you a spoiler on the last few days. But of course, you've already watched those. 13 hits. That is 18, 20. Okay, um, I'm not sure if you can see them. I think you might. Uh, let me just explain. Fibonacci and Martingale, I keep your present uh, losing streak down here to keep to help keep track of um, where of, uh, of your losses because it helps me to know what your next wager would be. They don't won't do that at the casino. You'd have to keep track for yourself. Um, the objective of Fibonacci is to close your uh, present losing streak at break even, discounting blackjacks and wins from and multiple wins from splits and double downs. You started base bet of one. 
you lost, you move to the next position. Still a base bet of one, which would work because if you win, you get back the one from your loss column, as I call it over here, and you would finish your cycle at break even. If you're farther down, when you win, you don't go all the way back like you would in Martingale. You go back two positions, okay? And if you get multiple losses from splits and double downs, like I said, I'll explain those later if they come up, and I'm going to do a separate video on that, on my discovery. Martin, uh, very quickly, uh, Martingale, the objective is to get to close out your, uh, your losing streak uh, at a gain of, a, of one unit. Uh, so you lost one, your next wager is a wager of two to get this one back plus one in gains. Okay, so uh, basically you're just doubling your bet every time. Slight changes on multiple losses uh, due to splits and double downs, but much easier to figure out. And like I said, I have Fibonacci figured out better where it will not be so confusing nor time consuming. I, that, I, I'm sorry, but a couple days that did, I think, really slow us down as I um, tried to work through um, the problems. And speaking of double downs, but let's hope we don't lose. A 10 to an 8 to double down, single card. 19, 15, 24. Okay, so uh, Fibonacci gets back the one from his loss column. If he had been farther down, he would, he would of course, get his double down payment. But, um, uh, and but just keep that as a bonus of course only being here moving back two positions from position two puts you you know back too far um, Or you know you just go back to the beginning of the sequence uh, One three two six gets paid You get paid Paroli gets paid and uh, Martin is gonna get back the one from his loss column and he would get one more um, to have a gain and then he would also get his double down, but um, I'm, I'm out of white chips, so I'm gonna. He has Martin Gale has four out there. I'm gonna give him five and take one. Okay. Now let's see. Fibonacci completed his cycle uh, for break even, actually for a slight gain due to the double down. One three two six. That was um, he started his. He was at position one. His next wager is three. So this time, due to the double down, he gets to keep one. To move up to three, guess what flat betting does? Paroli, like I said before, after the blackjack, is going to press the whole thing. Martingale starts a whole new cycle with one. So Paroli, after a wager of one and winning a double down, um, after one consecutive win, is wagering four. One consecutive win. After one win. Oh, great, double down. Well, maybe we'll see Paroli get closer to the table limit. Uh, we don't know. Um, Anyways, double down. We don't know yet. We'll find out in two cards here. 16, 14, 19. Oh, that's a loss. Okay, oh, so here we go. So we pull these off for, um, I'll have to explain Fibonacci and Martingale a little bit here. Okay, Martingale's not so tough. Um, Fibonacci is a little tougher. But I have it. But I have figured it out. Okay. Now Fibonacci is not so confusing in the early stages. It's only when you get down here. I won't waste time talking about it. I'll just say it for now. That you had your original bet of one unit. That was right there. You bet. You backed it up with um. Uh, with, with your double down. So that that's your that's what that would do is put you down one more position. So instead of going on the loss one position, you're going to go two positions. Which in the in the beginning stages of the sequence, it's easy. You're down two. You're the next spot in the progression is two. If you win that, you would close out the cycle at break even. So that's a no-brainer. That one that one's easy. Um, so Fibonacci's at two, one, three, two, six, more at flat, and Paroli are at one. Martingale uh, betting one, um, doubling down, another one losing is now down two. What's the objective of Martingale? To Close out your current loss column with a gain of one. So there's the two that you're down plus one. So you, that's a wager of three. Okay. An eight will take a card to a six. Fifteen. That will stand. That's good. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Okay. Well, 
since Fibonacci was not able to close out his cycle, I get to talk about it again, okay? In general, well, actually, it's, yeah, okay. We don't have a confusing situation yet because we're in the beginning stages of the sequence. It doesn't, it doesn't get that bad. The way that Fibonacci works is to determine what your next wager is, is you add up the last two bets. So forget about what's over here right now. You lose your first bet. You, 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 you bet again, trying to get back to break even. Your next one was a two. Again, you're trying to get back to break even, but if you can see, one plus one is two. After losing the two, your next wager is three. Even though you know you, that wouldn't close you out um, at break even because you only go back two positions, which I, I guess we'll get a chance to see. But anyways, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, three plus five is eight, etc. Going down, okay? Eight plus 13 is 21. Uh, I capped it out here at 89, even though the progression would keep going because it's a 100 unit uh, table max. 33 plus 55 is 89. 55 plus 89 is 144, so, etc. It would keep going. Okay, trying to be quick. Don't talk too much. Anyways, Fibonacci is at position four, wagering three units. Everybody else is at one except for Martingale. Lost one, lost one, lost three. That's five. That means he needs to wager six. Okay, so he's going to need some change. Gonna leave that there. Wager of six for Martingale. Okay. Okay. Uh, another blackjack. Congratulations. Um, three plus one and a half for Fibonacci, one and a half for the one, three, two, six, one and a half for flat, one and a half for Paroli, six, well, I'm going to play out your, your loss column for Martingale. You're going to get your five to, towards your, towards your six, remember, and then plus one, right? So that was your, the, for the base bet. So that closed out the uh, loss column for Martingale plus um, the three um, for the for the blackjack bonus pay, the three to two pay. Okay, 19. Okay, um, I forgot to pay Fibonacci out of his loss column, so let me just swap out really quick, as, as if it really matters that way, but okay those away three and a half okay so Fibonacci I only gave him three out of his loss column because that one that that bonus for the uh, blackjack is just bonus he's still down one now if you were say at the end of the shoe or whatever or whatever or you can adjust this to do it your way if that extra one would have closed out your loss column that's your choice you can play it that way that's not what we've been doing we've been treating it strictly as a bonus and this is where Fibonacci doesn't always just get you back to break even. You actually can make some money when you close your cycle. You are at three. You won. You move back two positions. You're just at position two wager of one, which would fit because you still have one in your loss column. Okay? Hope that's clear. If you disagree or you think it should be done a different way, put it in the comments. We'll talk about it. One, three, two, six gets to take off the half, brings out another one. Bumping up to three following the sequence. Flat betting is there. Oh, sorry. Paroli presses the whole thing to two and a half. Martingale completes the, the cycle um, for a gain of plus one plus the extra pay from the blackjack. If we get a, um, a blackjack again, I do have something to stand in for a quarter unit for Paroli. I don't have an eighth unit. Uh, I think the casino just doesn't pay you. Um, whatever it can't round to at that point. But as you can see, that's not going to apply because you don't have blackjack, and neither does the dealer. 15 hits to a 10, 25 is too many. Seventeen. Oh, by the way, uh, that was hand 11. Um, I do keep track of how many. That's how I know that, for example, we get at le we've been getting at least 45. Uh, Fibonacci is at position three, two units. I'm not going to show you the chart every time. Uh, Martingale is down one, so he's wagering two. 
um, and also that is useful when we get to doing the summaries at the end of this seven shoe series. 14 to a 7 takes a card. Uh, 17, 10, 20, Fibonacci, after losing two, goes to the fourth position as a wager of three. Uh, Martin Gale now down three, wagers four to get back to break even plus one unit. And here we go. Picture? Nope. Soft 17 to a 7, you haven't won yet. This, this is the philosophy here. You need a card. 19. Hopefully now you have won. We will find out. 16. 26. You did win. So Fibonacci gets back 3 from his loss column. He's still going to have 1 left behind there. Um, the Fibonacci. Uh, Martingale gets back the 3 from his loss column, plus 1. Okay, so Fibonacci is um, is at, actually at position two. If you remember, going from the three, going back two positions, you're still down by one. One, three, two, six brings out another, bumping up to three. Paroli presses. Martingale completed the cycle for a uh, gain of one unit. It starts over at one. Here we go. Well, ace check here is not there. 13 to a 10 needs a card. 23 is too many. Twelve. Uh, Fibonacci now in position three. Bets two. One, one, one. Martingale's down one. Wagers two. So yeah, if you're at the casino, if you're going to use Fibonacci, for example, take um, you, you should A, take the strategy card with you, but also take a small version of the Fibonacci sequence. You're going to need to reference it. And I would take a pencil which, um, or, or a pen or something to write with. Um, let me start by paying you. Uh, first of all, Fibonacci gets his two back out of his loss column, so he's uh, closed out his uh, cycle at break even, but then he gets the bonus pay for the blackjack right there. One and a half. Uh, because if we get into some of these, these crazy situations that can happen with Fibonacci with multiple losses uh, due to blackjacks and double downs, especially if you have like three losses, like you've split and then double down and you lost the whole thing. Uh, Martingale gets back the one from his loss column, plus one to, um, to close the cycle for um, a, a gain of one unit, plus one for the, the blackjack pay. Uh, it, 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 in Fibonacci, as we get to some of the weird uh, scenarios that can happen, you're going to need to have a way to keep track. Um, I think you guys have the hang of it now, what I'm doing, what needs to happen for all, all of the different betting progressions. If not, just keep watching. I'll talk about it again. But anyhow... Um, yeah, it's Fibonacci can get kind of weird, and you need to find a way to keep track. The casino will not keep a little loss column over here for you. Um, 6 to a 3 takes a card. 14 stands. 11. 12. Oh, 21. Well, at least we haven't had to get into the quarter units for uh, Paroli, or for anybody. I guess he's the only one that would happen to. Whoops. Let's get everybody's bet wagers out here first before I start giving out cards. There we go. Um, yeah, so they let you take the strategy card with you. So there's no reason why they wouldn't shouldn't let you keep the Fibonacci thing. Uh, a soft 18 to a 7 is a stand. The idea being that you know the dealer has got a 17, which he does not. 14. He has better than 21. He has 23. Fibonacci closes out for break even. Martin Gale closes out his losing cycle plus one. Perfect. Um, I'm pretty. Uh, 
hold on, I need to make change for 1326. I'm pretty sure I've seen people take notes um, at the table. I think they would let you. You know, those situations don't happen too much, at least if you had the card, um, or, you know, the Fibonacci sequence, you could at least have some point of reference, and hopefully it doesn't go, you, you hopefully eventually close out that cycle for break even or better. Uh, 13 stands to a 4, and you, 20. So you, you don't have to keep going, you know, if you, once you, once you're down in the cycle and you start going, uh, you're getting choppy, win, lose, win, lose. Uh, it can get, especially if you're off of the standard uh, Fibonacci sequence, it can get very confusing. So you, you know, may need to take some notes, probably with a pencil. That way you, you can erase it and, and start over again. Oops, sorry, Martin Gale should be a wager of two. Don't you like this casino? They let you add uh, chips after the first card came out. Because wouldn't you want to add more, more chips to that four to a, a, a dealer face card? No, but you need to. We need to apply the system properly. Even though I made a little mistake, sixteen hits again. Twenty, very nice. Twenty, push. Repeat the bets. We repeat um, the positions in the sequences that are in them. So, like Fibonacci, still at position two, wager of one. A nineteen will stand to a ten. Twenty. Fibonacci moving to position three. Wager is two. Martingale is up to wager of four. I guess even for Martingale, any of these really, uh, well, the positive progressives aren't so bad. One, three, two, six. If you can't keep track of where you are in one, three, two, six, you probably shouldn't even be playing blackjack. Um, there we go. Fibonacci closes out. Right. Um, Martingale, lost column, plus one. Uh, and same, you know, and Paroli too. By the way, that was hand 21. I keep forgetting to tell you when the actual um, next set of 10 is completed. Paroli's not that hard. You just, ha if you can't keep track of three consecutive wins or however many you chose to, um, to, to go for, uh, adding one, you you probably shouldn't be playing blackjack either if you can't count to three. Um, right. Um, yeah, Fibonacci, Martingale, a little confusing. Flat betting is, uh, of course, pretty pretty straightforward and pretty simple. If you can't keep track of of flat betting, then uh, you really shouldn't be anywhere close to a casino. Nineteen will stand. Twenty. But of course you can keep track of some of those things. But good luck keeping track of weird things that happen in Fibonacci. 18 will stand. 20. Oops. Again, maybe I shouldn't be near a casino. I can't keep Martingale straight. So isn't this a nice casino? You get to add chips after you've lost. Yeah feels that way sometimes. Okay. Let's make sure we get this right. Fibonacci is in position three, wager of two. One, three, two, six. Needs some change right there. Flat better. Oh, Caroli also needs some change. And Martingale down three, wagers four. I'll get it right this time. Here we go. Thirteen will stand to a dealer five. Fifteen. Twenty-three. So Fibonacci closes out for break even. And Martin Gale will close out gain of one. Congratulations on completing the cycle. One, three, two, six moving up to three. Paroli pressing to two. So this, if you've noticed, we've gotten a lot of win-lose, win-lose. Um, those are really tough for uh, these two systems, and it will probably show up, bear out at, at the end. Of course, a lot can still change, but um, it eats up your chips 
really fast. It's one of the down. It's one of the downsides to these positive progressives. Uh, whereas the negative progressives have the downside. Insurance, insurance closed. Of the neg the negative progressives have the downside of busting out by having your uh, by, especially Martingale by doubling all the time. You very quickly go from one unit to whatever it is, 60 units ish, thereabouts, um, which is more than you came to the table with. Two for Martingale. I'll get it right. He's checked. Nope. 14 hits. 23 is too many. 20. Okay, Fibonacci position three, wager of two. Martingale down three, again, wagers four. 18 will stand. 20. Okay, um, Fibonacci in going to position four in the sequence. One, one, two, three. Wager is three. Martingale now down seven, wagers eight. I'm going to use a red. Picture? Oh, oh boy, split time. Great. Let's get nice and this. Well, hopefully you win, but if you don't, we'll, you'll give us a chance to. Um, hold on, hold on. Let me fix this up first. Give us a chance to. Uh, me to demonstrate what I think I figured out for Fibonacci. Okay, now three. Ah, we make change all the time. One, one, one. Martingale is a wager of eight. And if and if if you lose both, if you if you win one, lose one, it's push. Um, just like a double. This would be treated like a double down. Anyway, single card for each. 21, uh, 16. This is not blackjack. Blackjack is only the first two cards. And 18. So you have a win and a loss. So what I I'm not gonna I don't I'm gonna save time and not move all the chips around. Okay. So I'm just gonna give back your second double down or your 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 the second half of the wager and save time. Technically, I should pay this one and take these, um, you know, pay out, and especially with um, the, the negatives that I'm keeping track with, pay you out of here and then put it back in. Oh, come on. You're not even really here. <laughs> Anyways, uh, it's a repeat. That, that's the same as any push. Same bet, same position. 13, oh, sorry. Insurance, insurance closed. So we didn't get to some of the, the weird stuff with um, the negative progressives because it was a push. I guess kind of in a way, thankfully so. Uh, okay, so Fibonacci is uh, one, one, two, three, adding up the last two, the two and the three, the next wager is five. Uh, Martingale, uh, it, you know, it, the last loss was uh, eight. He's down an eight, a four, a two, and a one. That's 15, so, but any, the simpler way is doubling the 8 for um, 16, so that 16 is his next wager. That would close out his cycle for a gain of single unit. Good luck. A 7 will take a card to a 5. That is a soft 18. That's, uh, I know you would double that to a... Uh, on your first two cards, but since you cannot double down now, you will stand on a soft 18 to a dealer 5. 9, 20. Okay. So Fibonacci's last two losses were a 3 and a 5, so the next is 8. Single units here. Change here. 
Martingale on a loss of 16 now needs to wager 32. That's 10, 20, 5, uh-oh, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 2. So, uh, let me just make sure, 25, yep, 30 and 2 for Martingale. Martingale has 2.5 left. Martin, if Martingale loses this, Martin, Martingale still has two and a half, and that's what he'll bet. Uh, he's if he loses that, he's not allowed, or or he, um, he's not allowed to buy in again. Even that two and a, even with two and a half, he can't uh, buy in again to 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 correct his bet up to the next uh, number of which would be sixty four. Okay, um, that's that's what again. It's a big problem with Martingale. Perhaps Martingale needs to come to the table with more units than just 50 units starting with a base of one. But that's not the way um, we're, we're doing this, okay? At a $5 table, it's still 250 bucks. Hopefully you win, and it's nothing to worry about. Just saying, in case you don't. Six. Well, of course you need to hit that, or you will lose. Nine. 19, not bad. 20, not good enough. Okay. So that's six consecutive losses. Martingale, I'm pretty sure, had been up. That's with 50 bet units, six puts six losses in a row puts Martingale on the rails with two and a half. Well, I should do this. Well, let me do it everybody in order. Um after the eight. For Fibonacci comes 13. One, three, two, six, flat, and Paroli are single units. Okay, and Martingale coming it all in at two and a half. Looks I should have cleared these out. Oh look, you lost. I'll just take all your chips. That's why I never put chips out until the cards are taken away. Dealers make mistakes. They don't. Maybe they don't mean to, and they just sometimes they just go, "Oh, everybody lost," and they scoop them all up. I so I I'm always very diligent. I don't put my wager out. I might you know set it aside, but I don't put it in the box in the or the circle. Okay. Anyways, I got it this time. That was another ten. That's thirty. Expected. If we're expecting forty-five, we're about two thirds of the way through. And here we go. Good luck. Let's check for the ace. A seven needs a card. That is 16. Hits again. 20. 19. Hey, look at you. Okay, so uh, Fibonacci getting paid back out of the loss column. The last two wagers. The eight and the five. That's um, 13. And Martingale. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. Um, you know, because Martingale... Mar Having had, if Martingale had more money, he could have closed out his cycle. Um, this his loss column here doesn't mean anything anymore. He's going to get back two and a half. I mean, I could take it out of the loss column, but it doesn't really matter um, because having one Martingale starts his cycle all over. If you know, maybe there's another way to deal with that. Uh, if you have any ideas, let us know in the comments. Otherwise, this is just what we're doing. He just lost all that. His, you know, his lost column. He he has no way of getting it back. If if you you know if you start it, you say, well, you know, you had two and a half out there. Now you won. Now you have five. You should just press it until you're able to 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 work back out of your lost column. Well, then you're not doing Martingale anymore. If you start playing that way, you're playing. That's Paroli. Up well, or and Paroli for our, our our uses is up to three consecutive wins. So. Oops, I should have left that out there. Let me put that away. See, I could have scooped up his money or something like that. Um, anyways, Fibonacci, uh, after 13, move, went, moves back two positions. One, two. His next wager is five. One, three, two, six brings out another one. Wager of three. Paroli presses the two. Martingale starting his cycle over. Single unit. So he's just right now just trying to um, 
you know, minimize his losses. You know, he's down whatever, you know, 45 or so. He's just trying to work back a few to work through the shoe. Maybe you should just walk away, go get have a take a break and come back with a whole new uh, a whole new bankroll. I don't know. You you I can't tell you what to do. You have to decide. To give you some ideas. 12 to an 8 takes a card. 19 18. So, uh, Fibonacci gets paid the the 3 and the 2 from his, his losing sequence right there for 5. 1, 3, 2, 6 gets paid. Flatbedder gets paid. Paroli gets paid. Martingale gets paid. Um, very quickly, Fibonacci uh, asks for a wager of 5, moves back 2 positions. He's going to wager 2, looking to close out the cycle at break even and that would be appropriate because he has two remaining here in the lost column see how important it is that I keep that there so he does get to take some off uh, one three two six uh, after that win of three takes off uh, the winnings plus a little more leaving a that two Crowley pressing to four after two consecutive wins looking for a third consecutive win to complete his cycle and here we go A 15 will need a card to better an 8. 21. Uh oh. 16. 8, 8, 8. No good. Fibonacci closes out at break even. 1, 3, 2, 6 takes the win. Flat better takes the win. Paroli completes a three consecutive win cycle. I'm going to give him five and take one. Martingale gets paid one. So, you know, Martingale's, you know, he's not going to, he doesn't have time to work everything back. Um, one, three, two, six needs to bring out two more. But at least he'll, you know, at least he's still playing and getting comps. How about that? Um, congratulations, Paroli, on completing your cycle. You really needed that. And the one, three, two, six is at six, correct? Yes. Um, 13 stands to a 3, 9, 16, 18, so 1, 3, 2, 6 did not complete, um, the cycle, and Fibonacci's down 1, is it been the position 2, wager of 1, Paroli is here, Martingale down 1, now wagers 2, like I said, looking to get back, um, his losses plus one unit. Now, Martingale could do better if we start getting some double downs. Twelve, uh, you know, this is this one gets people a twelve to a dealer hard thirteen at this table where dealer stands on soft seventeen, and even if dealer hit on soft seventeen, that is a hit. Fifteen. Then now you stand five. 12, 13, 20. And that's the breaks. So yeah, Martingale, if he got, uh, you know, now he's got, uh, he's, well, I'll, I'll come back to it. Fibonacci's now up to two. Uh, la, la. Um, Martingale uh, is down three. He needs to wager four, and he has exactly that. I'm going to trade in for those two halves, okay? So, uh, well, Martingale won't be able to double down, but a blackjack would 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 help him out here. He won't also, hmm, hopefully we won't get, you know, not getting a double down uh, is one thing, assuming that it only needs one card. This is the first time this has happened. Well, it hasn't happened yet, but I'm just talking about the potential if it does. Not sure what Martingale would do in a split. Hopefully that won't happen. We hopefully... We won't see a couple of eights. Okay, phew. We don't have to work. So this is do or die for Martingale, by the way. See, he's all in. Um, eight takes a card. That is 14. We'll stand to a dealer five. 15. 22. So Fibonacci closes the cycle for break even. 
And Martin Gale closes out his losing streak of three plus one to make four. So he's actually still gaining. He's still alive. Fibonacci is out. 1326 brings out another one. 1326 has been getting devastated by this choppy action, especially not completing his cycle um, a couple hands ago when he lost the six. Paroli pressing, also suffering a bit, but not as much, at least in this um, iteration. Uh, Martin Gale building his stack back up. Well, a 20 will stand to a four. 14, 21, ouch. That is the name, that is the name of the game. And the, con the choppy action continues to wear on the 1326. On everybody, really. Oh, Martin Gill needs to wager two. Okay, this time Martingale can afford it. Fibonacci will double down. One, three, every, well, everybody will double down. A 10 to a 3. Single card. 16. 6. 16. 21. Okay, so let's keep track of that. So we'll have to talk about that for a second. Um, Martingale's going to have to put those over here. I have to talk about Martingale for a second, too. I'll try to keep it quick and brief. Um, okay, so Fibonacci lost the first one. Okay, then the, the next one was one, on which he doubled down. Okay, so he's now in for three. Okay. Here, it's not so, it's not so confusing. Um, now, what I ha had been doing is, when he had multiple losses, instead of going down one spot, I would go down an extra spot. Um, sorry, no, he was, sorry, he was there and doubled down. We would, so we would count that as that double down and we'd move down an extra spot to wager three. But as you can see, if he moved back two, he would be at the one. And if he won that, he'd be closing out his cycle, um, for a profit. And so what I would do is then I would move back instead of moving back two, I'd move back an additional one to make up for the additional spot you moved down. That's not what, that's, that's not how I, um, how I worked it out. Instead, you do continue to move down an additional spot, but only once when you have an additional uh, wager out there. So you were at one, you lost that, you bet one, you doubled down and you lost that. So instead of just going to here, you're going to here, you're going to position four, okay? Um, but your wager is going to be the amount of the last the way that Fibonacci usually works, your wager is going to be the amount of the last two bets that you lost. And it gets, I'll talk about it in my other video I'm going to do about uh, Fibonacci, uh, if you have like three or, or more losses. So what that is, is there's your first loss, there's your, from right there, right here is, is this loss, and this one is your position three loss, but you're just adding up the two. So you're here. So your last two count up, add up to two. So that's what your wager is going to be, okay? And that'll get you back to, but then, but you're actually in position four. And this is where you're going to need a piece of paper or some way to keep track at the casino. Then when you move, if you win that, you get those two back. You move back two positions like normal to one and one. And if you win that, then you've closed out um, for break even. I think that's it's a it's a cleaner way. Uh, and it and it and I when I was testing it, it works for when you lose even four um, uh, hands, all your, or four wagers all on one hand. The way that the way that you can move down and then work your way back. I'll ex like I said, I'll explain that in that other Fibonacci video that uh, I need to make after this one. So Fibonacci's position four, but a wager of two. Um, and Martin Gale, uh, you know, had lost one. Doubled his bet to bet two, lot, doubled down, lost that. So now he's in for five, but he only has three. So again, Martingale is all in. Um, he won't be able to close out his uh, cycle uh, for a gain of plus one. He's 
it just he's just going to have to do the best he can. If he wins, he'll start at one. If he loses, he's out. He's not going to like win and press trying to close out his cycle because then he becomes Haroli, and that's not what we're doing. And we're just trying to be consistent. Also, Martingale not allowed to buy in again. If he's once he's out, he's out. Okay, twenty stands to an eight. Ten. Twenty push. Okay, everything. Bets are the same, positions are the same, so I don't have to talk, I don't have to, this is actually, can be a little faster. Okay, oh boy. Pair of twos, to a seven is a split, and um, Martingale cannot participate in the split. I think I know what to do, okay. And if you don't like what I do, then, um, then too bad. Uh, then put it in the comments. But here's what we're going to do. Okay. We're going to have to rewind a little bit uh, at some point. Okay. It won't be, it shouldn't be that hard. Okay. Martingale is, we're going to do this hand first, but Martingale really has a four. Hopefully this won't get too crazy. So here we go. Martingale wouldn't be, well, actually, see, Martingale would actually have a 12. So that's, okay. Martingale would hit a 12 to a 7, that's fine. Everybody else is going to double down. Okay, Martingale has a 14. No, sorry, Martingale has a 12. Everybody else gets a single card. Okay, fine, 20. But Martingale would have 2 plus 2 is 8. He would hit that to a 17. I mean, sorry, 2 plus 2 plus, two plus 8 is 12. He would hit that to a 17, and he would bust. Got it? Is that clear? Everybody cool with that? So Martingale busted out. Martingale is gone. Okay. Now we can continue like normal for everybody else. Obviously, a uh, single card stands right there. 12, 12 to 7 takes a card. 13, 13 would still hit. I don't know. Card counters, we might, might not. They may or may not. Basic strategy is what we follow. 23. Oops, I forgot to put out everybody's um, other bet. For this side look at that isn't this the best casino you get to put out more chips after you've already lost <laughs> um 23 that's it that's that that bust okay so i'm going to clear those out okay so oh by the way so for um great for fibonacci that's the that's his loss right there we'll just have to see how it how that works out 16 22 Okay, so Fibonacci is going to end up uh, winning two but losing one. Um, let me do Fibonacci last. Let me pay everybody else first. Okay, so that is the Paroli money. This is the flat better money. This is the one three two six money. Okay, and then Fibonacci. He lost one, but one two. So really, he it's just like a normal win for Fibonacci. Okay, actually, here's Fibonacci's um, money there from his loss. So what that does is that um, the loss that he that he had on this side. We'll go over here, pay the double down. Then he will get the other two back from his loss column. And if you remember, we were in position four because of the way we had to move down from the from the hand before. So now he's moving back two positions to, to one. He still has one in his loss column. Very convoluted, a little bit weird. I'll, I'll try to cover it better in the Fibonacci peculiarities video. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. 
Okay, that is 40 hands gone down. Expecting another five. Martingale is out. Let's get everybody else betting out here. Um, oh, shoot, I really screwed that up. Uh, everybody else did win. Uh, it's going to move up in their progression. Oh. Okay. Um, the one three two six was at one, and he won the double down. Um, so he actually gets to keep one. His next wager is um, three, no matter what. That's that's one nice thing. It's cut and dry. One three two six. That's it. Flat and uh, flat betting. Also very easy. Paroli, if you remember, he wagered one. He doubled down, and then he won, which is all represented here. Um, he presses the whole thing. So after one win, his wager is at four, okay? And we're good. Insurance. Insurance closed. Okay. Choppy action again, eating up Paroli and 1326 on hand 41. Uh, we're in, we got out of the weird stuff for Fibonacci. We're at... Um, Position three, wager of two. Twenty will stand. Seventeen. So Fibonacci closes out his lost column for um, break even. Uh, and resets down to one. You can tell how much that the choppy back and forth action has been killing um, the one three two six by how much I have to cash him uh, make change make check chains for him adding one wager of three Paroli pressing to two hand 43 you want to insert that 15 of course you don't you will take a card 25 that's a loss Choppy action, eating up those positive progressive bankrolls right there. 616. Fibonacci in position two, wager of one. A 20 will stand to a three. 13, 18. Fibonacci closes four, um, break even. One three two six needs to bring out another one again, pressing to or bringing it up to three. Paroli presses to two. A fifteen will stand to a dealer. Two six ten nineteen. Win lose win lose and the progressive better stacks keep getting smaller. That was hand forty five, so we've made it. Position two for Fibonacci wager of one. Do a little ace check here, it's not there. 12 takes a card, 18 will stand, 20. Of course, consecutive losses don't help anybody really either. Uh, that being hand 46, it's time to mention um, Fibonacci's position three, wager of two. Um, what to do if you end the shoe mid, uh, mid cycle. Um, of course, you know, our table is closed. The whole casino is closed when this is over. Um, for, for our purposes, but you know, in a real casino, you have to decide are you going to play anymore? And if you are, where, what are you going to do if you're mid, mid sequence, mid cycle? Um, do you start over? Do you pick up where you left off? Personally, I like to start all over. However, uh, 13 stands to a two. Pair of twos, that's four, that's nine. That would make four, 15, and 21. Um, I think that, you know, if you're up, you put away your winnings over, in this case, anything over 50 units, and um, you, you, can, you can keep playing. Now, if you're down, or if, if you're up, if you're up at all, I think that's what you would do. Even if you're, you're mid-sequence, mid mid-cycle, you should, um, hold on, let me just keep this going. Uh, 
a wager of three for Fibonacci. The one, three, two, six needs change again. Um, I think if you're up at all, even if you were you know mid sequence, that you should personally, I would definitely start over, pocketing anything over 50 units. There's our cut card. First, first card out of the shoe for this hand. We will play this hand. That's what we've always done. So this is hand 48, 48. Uh, it, and it, but it, the question is, if you're down and you're in your cycle, what do you do, um, particularly with negative progressives, because you have, you know, money, quote, on the table, um, or, or not. You, you, otherwise, you kind of end up the way that Martindale was. Uh, you hopefully won't be in dire straits like he was, but you could, you know, you could be down to, say, like 30 units. What are you going to do? You're going to top off, add, adding adding on again to bring yourself up to 50? Um or not. That's 11. That is 18. 17. Oh, well, okay. So it's not so bad. Um, Fibonacci gets back the 2 and the 1. So Fibonacci's going to leave one out there, one unit out there in his uh, cycle here at the end of this shoe and as this casino closes. It's not not so bad. Um, 1, 3, 2, 6. You know, um, instead of adding 1 to the 3, he just gets to keep it and, he, and he's now protected from choppy back and forth action. Um, and same with Paroli. He just he doesn't have to, to press that wager. He gets to keep it for the next shoe or however it goes. So um, that one did end the shoe mid mid cycle. All right, let's um let's count them up. Well, it won't take as long to count up Martingale. Martingale busted out. Um, so Martingale is down a full 50 units. Uh, Paroli, 10, 10, 5, that's 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That is um, 30. Puts uh, Paroli down 20. So what I do is, help me keep track, is I stack the chips. I invert the stack, and I put out uh, how many units they're down. Okay, um, the flat better. Get this out of the way. 10, 20... 35, 40, one and a half, which makes him down eight and a half. So eight and a half. And again, let me cash those. They don't stack so good. I invert the stack and leave eight and a half out here representing how much he's down. So this gives us a benchmark. Um, you know, th since he never modulated his bet, this wasn't a very good shoe. Of course, you get really crappy shoes pretty much all the time. <laughs> uh, let me also cash out those two halves on the 1326. I don't think I'm going to be able to do my clever little um, system here because he doesn't have any chips left. <laughs> That's 10. That's 15, 17 and a half, which would put uh, him down by 32.50. So what I did yesterday, 32.50. That's a, on my, my direction at least. That's a three, a two, and a half. 32.50. Inverted stack means he's down. And uh, the Fibonacci. 10. 20, 30, 40, ooh, pretty clear who's not the loser at least, 45, 50, what, well, Fibonacci has everything for beyond 50 for Fibonacci is gravy, I'm going to change that for him too. Fifty-five gain of five, five dollar table. That is um, twenty-five bucks, which is a heck of a lot better than anybody else. Martin Gale down fifty that on a five dollar table. That's two hundred and fifty dollars. Paroli down ten. Um, that would be fifty bucks. Uh, flat better down eight and a half would be forty-two fifty minus forty-two fifty. Uh, the 1326 down 32 and a half. That's 162.50 on a $5 table. 
and up by 25. So, uh, 48 hands, minus 50, minus, what did I say? Oh, these actually minus 20? Yeah, I don't know what I said before. Minus 20, I think I said minus 10. Minus 20 would be um, $100 down. So once, one more time. 48 hands. Minus 50. Minus 20. Uh, minus 8.5. Minus 32.50. Plus 5. Fibonacci came out well in the lead this time. Okay. Um, hope you enjoyed that. Hope it's not too long. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.